Just before I wanted to do this video, I tried to turn on my camera and it wouldn't. I panicked a little bit. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a panning games update and this is a collab with the Pantastic Ladies on Facebook. And we have done this since August, the beginning of August. So that is so surreal that we have done it for so, so long. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really excited for this update because I actually have some empties for you guys. Yay me! <laughs> this project is created by Amber and I don't think she's making videos anymore. Not really sure. I think she is planning on getting back to Instagram. Not really sure. She had a break. This project is inspired by The Hunger Games. So you were supposed to pick 24 items out of a box in 30 seconds. And the 24 items is based on the 24 tributes for the 12 districts. In the Hunger Games. Such a tongue twister. So cheers for that and then let's get on with the empties. So the non makeup empty I have for this month is my Yves Rosé hair serum. I'm so excited. I miss it at the same time but I'm really excited to have this done. So as you can see there are a lot of marks on here so I had very steady progress overall in this project. There is a little bit, the tiniest bit left in the thing. I can't pump it out. I'm not going to open it. So that's that. I'm really excited about this. The two makeup empties is my foundation and concealer duo. I'm so excited for this because these were not my red shade overall in this project. This is the W7. This is the last time I'm going to say this and I'm so excited about it. It's the W7 It's a Matte Made in Heaven Heavenly Matte Foundation. This foundation has the longest name and I have no idea why because it's such... Such a hassle to just pronounce every single time. I had a lot of progress overall in this project and I'm really excited to have this done. This was never the right shade for me so I always mixed it in with my Glow Guru from uh, the Illuminating Cream and I put it in with some lightning drops but in the end this lasts a little bit uh, less than that little bit right there. It oxidized all the time. I could not find the red shade even though I put in tons of lightning drops so I just couldn't make it work for me so now I have moved on to a lighter foundation and I'm really excited about it. This was finished kind of at the same time, a little bit after but kind of. It is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 15. This matched me perfectly when I used this with the lighting drops and sh lightning drops and stuff. <laughs> I can't talk, it's so late and I don't have any battery. So yeah, this is one of my favorite concealers of all time. I have bought like four of these and I talked more about it in my empties. But I really, really like this and I'm so excited that it's gone because I have a lot of concealers I need to go through. The rest of the items, I have uh, progress on them all. Some more, some less. The non-makeup item I have left is the W7 Glow It All Face Serum. Multi Glow Serum. This one right here. You have heard me complaining a lot about this and uh, yeah, I still don't like it. <laughs> I really don't. But I have tried to use it uh, straight for like two weeks, I believe, maybe a little bit more. Every single day in the morning and I made a new line and I'm pretty excited about it. There is a lot of progress in just two weeks. So I have no doubt that I will finish this, but I'm looking forward to this being done. Nothing that I enjoy using, but... I don't want to throw it out and I don't want to give it to somebody else. So, might as well just use it. Then we have the W7 Glow Guru Illuminating Face Cream in Pink Glow. This is the one right here. It is the one that I mixed in with my foundation and that is um, also why I have this much progress on it. The new foundation that I am panning is the one I have on today. It is matching me perfectly. So, I can't really mix this in. Because then the foundation gets a pink undertone and uh, no one wants to be pink in their, <laughs> in their face. So I'm not using the, this at the moment. Uh, I don't think I will be using it in my foundation. But I am very, very 
close to being done with my body lotion so maybe i can mix this in with another one that is more creamy because the one i have now is kind of stiff in it because i think it's a little bit old so uh, when i crack open a new body lotion i will put the rest of this in because i just don't want to use it i am panning a body shimmer in another project so that is what i am using on my body so that is not a priority right now for my body so i just need to use it in that body lotion or something so that's that the setting powder or finishing powder is my w7 set it up special fx finishing powder i really really enjoy this powder i really really do it has a beautiful finish finishing powder says it all i have a new line i'm so so excited that is what i have used the last month i'm so excited that this is going already and uh, i i have a hard time p p getting product out of the container now i will be honest about that it's not a big 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 struggle but it's getting harder so i'm really excited about that my essence space yeah i had color intensifying yeah the logo is working off but i have a new mark and i'm really excited that is where i was last update and that is where i am now so in one or two months this will be done and i'm really excited about that because it's not my favorite i Face, face, no. Eye primer, wow, that was the word. This is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Can. It is the, what I have on my lips today. I really, really enjoy this lip cream so much. I love it. I have panned it since August. I have used it as my primary lip color. And it takes forever to go through a lip product and especially a liquid lipstick. And I have too many, so that scares me. But this is a beautiful formula. It's a beautiful color. It's a beautiful everyday shade. I love it. I have nothing bad to say about this. And this time around, I have bought a lot of stuff and I'm really excited about it. Even though it looks messy, it's really not. There was a lot of product here in the t uh, at the top. I just pushed it down and uh, it's not as smudgy <laughs> as it was in the beginning. It's really really creamy now it was a little bit dry before but now it's creamy again and i really really love it still i think this will be done in one or two months which is exciting because i really want to work on something else i do have other lip products in projects but i can't really prioritize those because i really want to have that done uh, because that one i actually have a deadline so then we have my l'oreal in color infallible eyeshadow this one right here you remember those called classic on youtube at some point amber rush i believe it was called so yeah this is magnetic coil and i have a huge dent in this i'm so so excited i believe you can see it there i've inserted some pictures so you can see the last update i have a huge dip in this and if i'm not wrong one or two months uh, i can hit pan on this which is my goal oh i don't know if i am i'm ever going to be done with this eyeshadow because it well, it takes so long it's a pigment so yeah what was i going to say yeah this is beautiful on my nyx eyeshadow base that i am panning and it is so beautiful but it kind of fades so yeah it's not the best quality anymore and I, I I never really thought that it was but I can tell that it is getting older. This is the W7 Strobe and Go Strobing Stick. This is a cream highlighter stick. Beautiful one though. Sometimes I forget it, sometimes I don't but I usually use in a tree shape down my nose. Cupid's bow. The bottom line there is where I am now. So as you can see overall I have a lot of progress. But I also have a lot left, so hopefully I can have it done. If I'm not done with it, I'm fine. Oh, yeah, the last product I have is my eBay lip liner. I can see my battery is flashing. And yeah, it's just a new color and I have a lot of progress right there. I have been so good at using it, but I need to be better. Before my camera is shutting down, I hope you guys enjoyed this update. And if you did, please give it a like. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. And I'm doing a lot of product pens. And I have a few upcoming, so I'm so excited for it. So please be on the lookout for that. And until my next video, please take care.